Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are enjoying the uh, series of videos on uh, advanced product quality planning and production part approval process. Uh, so we have discussed uh, phase one planning phase, which runs from the kickoff uh, to the uh, uh, your uh, PDR, uh, and then the phase two runs from the uh, pro uh, PDR to CDR, preliminary design review to the critical design review. So phase three uh, overlaps as we discussed earlier uh, with uh, this one. So we will see uh, this is phase three is known as uh, process design and development. So we will see what are all the deliverables, what are all the activities and what are the uh, phase Okay, the phase three uh, the activities will be complete the source selection, establish the supply chain risk management plan, create the process flow diagram, conduct the process uh, uh, failure mode and uh, effect analysis that is the PFMEA on the proposed uh, processes and identify the process key characteristics update the process based on the PFMEA risk mitigation plans focusing on the process uh, key characteristics uh, create the control plan including the results of the uh, PFMEA and uh, key characteristics uh, create the process manufacturing instructions documentation evaluate the production readiness so basically uh, the list of activities uh, major thing here are the uh, you will complete the source selection establish the uh, supply chain risk management what are all the risks uh, seen uh, based on the source selection uh, are we having the sufficient risk free uh, sources where uh, the sourcing uh, risks are addressed and then the we uh, during the phase 3 uh, it, uh, you will have to create the process flow diagram and uh, once the process flow diagram is in place conduct the process failure mode and effect analysis which is very important uh, deliverable uh, on the proposed processes and identify the uh, key characteristics within the uh, PFMEA and update the process based on the PFMEA uh, risk mitigation plan focusing on the key characteristics these are very important activities uh, we will be dealing with these uh, different activities in detail in uh, upcoming videos uh, so i will be only touching at the uh, very high level to give you the overview of the uh, what are the activities being done at phase three create the control plan how do you control the key characteristics including the results of pfme and uh, uh, key characteristic identification and uh, create the manufacturing process uh, uh, instruction and documentation. So you will be uh, getting uh, your uh, C after CDR, you will be uh, getting ready for the initial production phase, uh, initial uh, production trials, and then evaluate the production readiness. So what are all the deliverables then? Uh, process flow diagram, floor plan layout, how the uh, production uh, is going to be done. Uh, what are all the new machines coming in place uh, how the uh, phase of the production is breakdown and uh, where the, the production happens and then the production preparation plan and you you will have the operator staffing and training plan uh, how do you develop the competency required to uh, meet the uh, instructions that are created through manufacturing instruction and uh, process documentation and uh, PFMEA uh, pro, uh, and then process uh, process key characteristics control plan uh, preliminary capacity assessment uh, workstation document uh, measurement uh, system analysis MSA plan supply chain risk management plan material handling packing labeling and part marking approvals production readiness review PDR review results and uh, so major deliverables uh, in phase three are uh, kind of getting ready uh, for the uh, production. Uh, the concepts are frozen at the critical design review. Concept is ready, and then the uh, this uh, parallelly gets the production uh, ready for the uh, with the risk analysis because they are involved from the phase one itself. That allows you to uh, do the uh, process flow diagram analysis, identify the risk and have the mitigation plan in place and how do you control the key characteristics preliminary capacity assessment workstation documentation 
measurement system analysis material handling packaging labeling part marking approvals uh, production readiness reviews these are all the major deliverables from the phase 3 so what is the phase output key milestone production process defined and deployed so how the part is pro uh, how the uh, part is going to be produced the process is defined and deployed successful completion of prrs those are the main deliverable from the phase 3 of the apqp so 